Listen. Do you recognize this sound? Hi, I'm Mike Sokol from Live Sound Co. And welcome to Live Sound Advice. In this episode, we're going to talk about hooking up the quick press malt. As you can see, I've got a Midas M32R console here, and even though it does in fact have some quarter-inch TRS outs, I would like to be able to use the XLR output. As you can see, if we can come out of the aux send on any mixing console into a standard passive DI box, we can convert this into an XLR output that's sufficient for camera feed. Now, you normally would have to use just a quarter-inch plug on this, but we can, in fact, use one of our convertible Neutrik plugs to change this over. So you take a quicker look, closer look. You can see right now I've got a convertible female in to male out XLR. So in this case, I'm going to make it a female input. I have it plugged in right here. And I'm plugging it into my first imp2 box, which is a little whirlwind box. And because this has a high input impedance of about 20K, I can plug as many of these together as I want realistically. In fact, I could plug up to a dozen together and it would not load the circuit down. These feeds then go to each of our video cameras and I would do a ground lift on each of these to keep the cameras ground from getting back into my PA system ground and causing hum. It's really as simple as that. Come out of the aux end of your mixing board at line level, go into any passive DI that you like, stack as many passive DIs together as you want, lift the grounds on these, and then send a separate XLR out to each of your video cameras. The quick press malt. I'm Mike Sokol, and thanks for watching. Now speaking of sounds, let us be precise and give you some sound advice.